Hello friends, so welcome to my channel API Automation using REST Assured. <clears throat> so uh, till now we have seen uh, till uh, this particular uh, point uh, setting request data, right? So the uh, if, if if you haven't watched my previous videos, so I will recommend you go back and see the previous videos uh, so that you can get a better idea of uh, what is all about REST Assured, right? so let's move to the next topic so today we are going to cover the verify the response part so this is the most uh, i think important for any uh, developer or qa who verify the response right so let's see how we can uh, uh, see so if you are trying at your end so uh, make sure that you have all the imp uh, imports properly imported okay and in the chapter one i have shown you the pom.xml so you can uh, uh, see how you uh, how to do the setup and all these things so there will be no issue on, uh, on the imports then right okay friends so uh, the case one <coughs> so so here we are verifying the simply status code okay and the status line Okay, like you have seen that HTTP 1.1 200 okay is written in the response, right? So we are verifying that particular line and we are just verifying that this particular line contains okay. Okay, so these are the different different things you can uh, try uh, uh, to verify your response, right? So let me run this one. Right, so a big response and this case has been passed right so there is nothing I, I think we have already covered in the previous chapter so I'm not sure so it's okay but this is a very simple right given dot get I'm hitting this particular API and asserting that status code is 200 line so uh, yeah this one is the new thing status line we haven't seen the status line yet right okay fine so these two cases are different in this one right fine so this is a status line if uh, just to uh, confirm you in status code we are verifying only this one this one and in status line we are completely verifying the complete line so right so this is a difference right so let's move to the next uh, one uh, header verification okay if you want to verify your response headers right so what we can okay let me first uh, show you this particular call let me run i think i have already had this one so let me rehead okay you open this one uh, okay uh, see this is the response headers right so i need to verify all these values are coming correctly or not right one of the important test keys right so what i'm doing here i'm hitting this particular uh, api using the get and asserting that header this is the key and value so x powered by express so this here it is x powered by express so i am verifying this one i am verifying vary and uh, this one key value so key and the value so similarly you can uh, give multiple uh, in uh, one line also like this is the header and this is the headers with s so in headers you can give the multiple key value and in single header you have to give only one right so simple so let me run this <clears throat> right so expresses let me change the response and see if rest assured is able to find this one or not case has been failed so reason see uh, so we found the reason so but was not expresses right so this is expecting only express right so this is the proof the rest assured is working absolutely fine right so this is one a uh, uh, good example right so let's move to the quickly move to the next one so here we are simply verifying the content type verification i think we have already done in previous chapter so uh, still and just uh, go through once so i'm hitting this particular api asserting that the content type is content dot json verify right let's no need to run this one skip this one okay so this is the body text verification good one okay so what i am doing here i am hitting get see the 
how to uh, uh, this is not a given condition okay so i am directly using this particular keyword get and the url dot as string so i am fetching uh, hitting this particular api and i am just capturing and i am converting uh, that to the uh, string and i am saving all the response in string okay so now what i am doing again i am hitting this particular api and I'm asserting that the body dot equals to this string. Okay, you're getting my point. So initially you hit some particular API and you save the string and again you are hitting. So in your automation, these can be two different thing, right? Uh, if you already have the response as a string and you can just verify that particular response, uh, actual uh, expected response with the actual response, right? So in that case you can use this particular case let me run and see if this works or not so this is working absolutely fine right okay so let's let's move to the next case okay this one is body parameter okay fine and the last one is cookie okay let me show you the last one first and then we'll come back to this one this is a bit uh, big one so cookie value changing on every hit okay so uh, i'm facing a means uh, uh, so when i run this particular case so what is happening that this cookie value is changing every time right so this case should fail ideally right so let me run okay so as expected so this case will get failed so yeah what the error is saying cf udid was not this what i have given it was this but if you copy this particular ud uh, this uh, uh, cf udid but then it will again fail because the next time the new CFUD ID will get generated, right? So this is happening, right? So this is expected. So if you have some behavior that cookie, some cookies are not changing, in that case, you can utilize this particular method, okay? So uh, try to play with this with some cookies which are not changing, then go and run this one, right? Okay, so uh, now come to this one. Okay, so what I'm uh, doing here, I am just verifying uh, your body parameters okay whatever the body parameters coming in the response so we are verifying that particular part here okay so we'll see how to solve this using the java 8 lambda expression okay so let's uh, take the java 7 version so this one is pre java 8 okay so this is java 7 or 6 whatever you can say okay so what I'm doing here, I'm hitting this particular API and in the body, so let me show you this particular API. Uh, hit this particular API, okay, and uh, so this is the response we are getting, right? So what we are doing, the thumb URL, I'm comparing the thumb URL, thumbnail URL is 92C952. 92c952 right so i am verifying that this response contains this value this particular key contains this value right okay so you uh, hit this particular get then body thumb thumbnail url and uh, see i am creating the object of uh, response aware matcher here and just simply return the equals to this particular value right so uh, let me run this particular code and uh, let me comment uh, these cases okay i'm commenting this one <coughs> okay so this is passing right so url has been masked okay so but see uh, uh, it took me around five to six lines to cover this functionality right so the beauty of uh, lambda 8 is that your unnecessary boilerplate code get reduced to one line right and we'll see uh, how to use the lambda expression in this case so see how simple is in the java 8 uh, these people have 
done that I'm simply hitting this particular API and in the body I'm verifying thumbnail URL uh, is equal to this see only one line see this is the lambda expression arrow right so this is important so let me first run using lambda okay so it has been passed and uh, right so uh, this is your lambda 8 and uh, this is a simple case uh, that i am verifying the thumbnail url ends with 9 to c 5 to right let me fail this case okay i am appending some z x y okay so this case should get failed <clears throat> so see we have seen different different types so you can use any one of them I will recommend you to go with the Java 8. This is a simple one-liner thing and you get the same uh, result, right? So this case has been failed, right? So if you see the reason, so it will show that the actual is this one, but uh, expected is ZXY, right? So that's why this case has been failed. Right, friends? So I hope you enjoyed this particular session uh, verification of the response part and in the next video we will see how to note down the timings in api the rest assured api process took okay so that can be used in the performance testing kind of thing okay friends so just stay tuned and uh, i'm just about to create the next video okay